Hey guys, it is Helene and I am back again with a video that I have not posted a video since like September and I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. At the moment I'm recording this, I have seven subscribers, they probably don't care, but I'm back for the internet to enjoy my voice and to enjoy me because I am a good person, I'm talented, I swear, I swear I know what I'm doing. This wonderful beautiful eyeshadow face is also brought to you by Too Faced the peanut butter palette oh, please sponsor me please sponsor me I have no money and I want to buy more makeup but I ain't got no money to buy it but anyways if you could tell from the title this is my top 13 tips to surviving your freshman year of high school and this is it's summer right now and I'm going to be junior next year so I like to think that I got some kind of knowledge when it comes to like what to do in high school so I decided to make this for you incoming fishies who have no clue what you're doing because guess what you don't like I can guarantee you have no clue what you're doing okay you might think that you know what you're doing but you don't know okay I didn't know you don't know okay it's just kind of a learning process you learn as you go along okay and as you go along you'll be like yeah this isn't too bad but guess what it gets worse then it gets better okay so you just kind of go along with the punches so I'm making this to help you so in any case let's get started so my first tip is to realize that your group of friends is gonna get so much smaller than it already is or it's just gonna get smaller like you have to understand that once you hit high school like things change like you got people dropping like flies in here okay you can't do anything about that okay let me show you how my freshman year worked out oh my god look over there it's my friends hello friends oh no my friends are running away from me yeah. that's basically how it worked out okay that's not exactly how it worked out but that's how it felt I felt like people were trying to get away from me but it's kind of a good thing because you'll get rid of people who you don't really want to hang out with but and then you'll make new friends who are like in the things that you think are cool and so you'll be cool together I'm not cool number two to many of your upperclassmen, you will be seen as annoying. Even if you personally are not annoying, your entire class will be seen as annoying. And let me tell you why. So a lot of freshmen, when you go to your orientation, or if you do an orientation, I mean, I did an orientation. But if you do an orientation, people get to scope you out beforehand. And people are going to be talking stuff. Because guess what? I knew I was. I knew I was talking stuff about the freshmen that, but for next year. Anyway, so... Yeah, you're just going to be seen as annoying. There's nothing you can do about that either. <sighs> There's nothing you can do. It's like I walk into the fourth period lunch where all the freshmen have lunch and I don't know what they're saying, but I don't like what they're saying because they're saying it's so scary and I don't like it. People scare me. But yeah. Number four. More than likely your little freshman loves and your crushes, they aren't going to last. Mm-mm. -uh. They don't, they, they, they don't, don't last, no. They don't, they don't, they, 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 they don't last. I got the sun all in my face, like, son, what you doing? Okay, I'm trying to record. But, yeah, that's just how it happens. You might think, I'm so madly in love with person, but you're a freshman. You have your whole entire life ahead of you to find out. Who you love and uh yeah freshman love ain't love right now okay boy mm -mm. boy girl y'all separate because i see what y'all do in the hallway it ain't it cute it's nasty it's nasty which also helps me bring me to my fifth point and what i think is my most important point i don't know why i put it at number five but my fifth point as as a freshman, do not go after a senior, no matter what you do. I don't care how cool you think you are. Don't go after a senior. You might think you're cool, and you might think it's so romantic how, wow, I'm dating someone so much more mature than me. I must be mature too. <laughs> how great is this? Everyone's going to think I'm so cool. Everyone's going to think I'm the best. Like, I was the most popular girl back in middle school. It only makes sense older me boy would want me sorry older me man would want me i mean who wouldn't want me i'm the cutest little girl ever and that's all you are you're a little girl 
But yeah, in some cases, cases, dating a senior might actually be illegal. Like, if you're 14 and your state's age of consent is like 18, y'all do stuff. Cause I know y'all do stuff. I hear stories. I have ears all over my school. That's illegal. And that's not good. But then again, don't quote me on my words because I don't know anything. This is just what I'm assuming. Okay, I don't know everything. So yeah, number six. Um, respect your teachers. I cannot stress this enough. You better respect your teachers. And y'all might think that you're cool because you're talking back. <laughs> you're not cool. Okay. Here I am. New school. New year. New me. Now I gotta assert my dominance here. I gotta show everyone at the school. I might be young, but I am ready to conquer this. I'm ready. Let's go. So you know what I'm gonna do to show my dominance? Do you know what I'm gonna do to show my dominance? I'm gonna walk up to that teacher right there. Right there. I'm gonna walk up to her and be like, sup? I ain't gonna say miss. I ain't gonna say her name. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna say sup. She calls on me in class. I ain't gonna answer. I hope you realize that's what you guys sound like. And it's so annoying. But yeah, teachers aren't like there to give you a hard time. Like, they're, they're kind of sort of there to teach you things, okay? They're there to show you things and how to survive your school, okay? Like, they are your most useful, like, ally to surviving school. You might not think that. You might not want to think that, but they are, okay? They really, oh god, the sun's in my face! They really are your best ally in this. So you just gotta respect them. Like, even if it's kind of like a sucky teacher, we all get them, we all deal with them, but in the long run, it's gonna be fine because you're gonna have a better school experience. If you actually respect your teachers. Thank you. Number seven. I don't know how to sign number seven. Anyways, number seven is that you've got to understand that sometimes seniors will be given more respect. Even though they might not always deserve it. Because I know a lot of seniors who are given respect and do not deserve one ounce of it. Are very irresponsible. The sun's in my face again. I can't do anything about that. I'm sorry, but anyways, you just gotta accept that sometimes seniors, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes seniors will be seen as better people, even if they aren't, and you just can't do much about that. Okay, number eight is that you have to earn your respect. Like, as a freshman, I was able to earn my respect through doing good in sports, doing good in school, and doing good in extracurricular activities. And that's how I earned my respect, because I gave it my all. Don't put half your effort into whatever you're doing, because it'll show, and you ain't gonna earn none of your respect, okay? Everyone wants to be respected in high school. We just want to fit in. And if you want to be cool to the upperclassmen, or well, if you hang around the right crowd, crowd of upperclassmen you want to be cool to them you gotta like earn your respect you gotta show that you're a sensible person who actually knows kind of what they're doing in life it's like this great feeling of equality when you earn your respect from a f like as a freshman from like an upperclassman it's like wow <laughs> i'm important i'm so important ah. Number nine, you gotta try out for everything. Okay, don't try out for everything. So, like, don't bite off more than you can chew. But just, like, try out for what you think is interesting. Like, if you want to do, like, theater, do things for theater. If you want to do sports, try out for sports. If you want to do something else, do it. Just do it. Okay? All right, so the next two, number 10 and number 11, kind of go together. Which is basically, number 10 is be good to your GPA because it is so hard to fix a bad GPA. And number 11 is don't mess around this year because if you mess around this year, you're going to spend the next three years trying to like fix it. Okay, it is going to be almost impossible to fix things if you do really bad and so you just got to try your best.
this also brings me to my contradictory number 12, which is don't beat yourself up over failure. Like, okay, don't fail everything, but if you fail one thing, you're not, it's not the end of the world. Okay, you are still going to be fine. You're probably going to do pretty well in your life. Just don't make it a habit of failing because it's a slippery slope. Don't do it. Like, I remember my freshman year, like, we have our school years divided into, like, six weeks. Like, every six weeks is a certain grading period. And I had failed one of them, like, an entire six weeks. My report card was like, hey, you suck. So I was devastated. I'm like, oh, great. I'm not getting in anywhere. I'm not going to do well in my life. I failed English, too, for one six weeks. But in the end, I ended the class with, like, a high 80 or a 90 or something like that. I did pretty good in the class compared to a lot of people in my class so yeah don't beat yourself up over things and finally thank god i'm tired my last point is if you're having a problem don't keep quiet about it like i'm having a problem with this lighting I can't keep quiet about it like like no i'm not talking about your everyday school drama like oh my god did you hear he was talking to Veronica. How dare he talk to Veronica? He's my man. How dare he? Oh my god. God, can you believe this? He was talking to Veronica. Veronica? Oh my god. I cannot believe he was talking to Veronica. <laughs> I'm not talking about that kind of problems. I'm talking about if you have a problem with bullying or a mental problem or or something like that. Or heck, if you're in sports and you have a physical problem, don't keep quiet about that. Because that can seriously injure you in the long run. Well, like any of these can. So, sorry, my camera gave out. But yeah, in conclusion, just like don't hide any problems. And I think you'll have a pretty good year. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video because I'm pretty sure this is not going to get them any likes, but that's okay. So <laughs> I hope you check back and I will see you guys in the next thing of whatever I make and hopefully I make it soon. So I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye. Please tell Too Faced to sponsor me. I would love it if they sponsored me. I have no money. <laughs>